what I have tried is uh, I'm not shooting the tab itself. I'm I have connected this uh, PDD 10A to a TV LCD TV using the uh, HDMI cable. So, uh, so as you know, the VDD 10E has a mini HDMI port, just like any other uh, budget tab. Anyway, so what we have here is uh, the home screen, and as you can see, I have downloaded quite a few apps on it already, and this is how it looks by default. I haven't changed any wallpaper or anything, so this is how it looks. So let's see the app screen. So this here is the app screen. Okay. All right. Here it goes. Not a lot of app. Only a few of them. Okay. So now let's test. Start testing, and by using Linpack Benchmark. Okay. So let's let's run the single threaded test. it goes it says it could take at least 30 plus second but it took less than this and it says uh, the speed is uh, 15.273 and flops which is quite good for a budget tab now let's run a multi-threaded test Alright, it scored 14.106 on the multi-thread test, quite good for a Cortex-A8 CPU, uh, especially a budget CPU like Alduino A10. Okay, now <clears throat> let's check the Android system info. So as you can see the battery is right now at 87% and uh, the internal memory is, first stage of the memory is 503.94 MB of which only 297 MB is free because I've downloaded some apps on it. The internal storage is uh, 2.7 GB. Not exactly 4 GB, but 2.7 GB. And RAM is 322 MB. RAM is free for the user, of which 137 MB is free right now. Okay. As you can see, the tab is running for 32 minutes and seven seven seconds. Now, uh, I charge the tab up to 90 percent. So in 32 minutes only, let's say 90%, only 3% is gone and I have I've been running some benchmarks and playing some games so only 3% of it has gone within 32 minutes it was consumed. Now let's look at the system, alright, CPU, pretty standard for an old winner 10 CPU. As you can see it runs from 60 megahertz to 1.008 gigahertz, not more than that. Even though all winner is rating its CPU at 1.5 gig, it really runs at 1.5 gig. This particular tablet and um, VDT10E is rated at 1.008 gigahertz. It won't go above this until unless you can of course uh, overclock it. But I won't suggest that since that will uh, what is it, uh, play havoc with the system stability as it is. So. Now, let's look at the sensors, okay, it says there are magnetic sensors and then there are acceleration sensors, so uh, most of them by MEMSIC, okay, and then there, there are two sensors actually, and both of them are running. I don't know if it has got magnetic sensors since I haven't tested that particular part yet. And let's look at the OpenGL. Okay, I haven't enabled it. Right, let's look at the battery. The battery is of lithium ferrite technology. The voltage it is running it is at 4.0439 millivolt. That is 4.039 volt. A bit higher so it will be discharging a bit faster than 3.79 volt batteries let's look at the build infos ok here it says it's android version 4.0.3 and release name and all this kind of details about it
right let's look at the Google market Android market now it has been named as Google Play okay so this is the market as you can see the full version of the market is supported on this tab alright now goes so you can download any of this app with this particular tablet very standard it's quite smooth as you can see now last let's do a test of the touch screen okay so I'll be testing the multi-touch capabilities of the screen so here um, here it goes one two three four five so it has detected five touches already six one no it doesn't detect six touches it detects five touches so this is a true five point multi-touch screen now let's check the linearity of the screen linearity is uh, the measure of smoothness when you drag it okay as you can see when I'm dragging that particular circle it's one unbroken line quite smooth for a budget 10 okay now let's try to drag multiple fingers simultaneously multiple touch points simultaneously and see how many drags it supports okay. it supports five linear drags which is quite good and each and every one of them is smooth so you can use you can even use a stylus for writing on note taking on this particular tab because the screen has very good touch sensitiveness okay <clears throat> now let's check whether and if the tab is rooted or not all right as you can see the tablet is rooted so VDD 10E comes pre-rooted very good okay. now we will check for a few other stuffs let's play a game no thanks Oh, I don't know what find is this seems pretty stupid I'm gonna screw up a game like fruit ninja and this kind of stuff I'm not it all right all right all right keep playing keep playing Thank you. Okay, I have selected this now what? Let's 
from multiple touches okay there is some problem with the sound output through HDMI it was working fine 